The Director of Public Prosecutions has approved charges against Tana River Governor Dado Godana. Godana is wanted for irregular procurement of motorcycles and motor vehicles at inflated prices. And as Sam Ogina reports, the DPP has been perusing the file for a year now after it was submitted by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. In approving the charges, the DPP has granted the green light for EACC to prosecute the Tana River governor. Governor Dado Godana is wanted for what EACC claims is irregular procurement of motor vehicles and motorcycles. EACC claims that the tendering process was flawed, especially at the point of tender evaluation and the professional opinion that led to the deal. For instance, Tana River spent 800,000 shillings to procure a motorcycle that ideally retails at an average of 150,000 shillings. Sources indicate that in flouting the procurement process, Tana River County rejected a bid from a dealer who had quoted market price for the supply of the motorcycle, instead granted the tender to a merchant who had overquoted. In total, 248 million shillings in inflated prices in the purchase of motor vehicles and motorcycles is being investigated. Godana is wanted alongside his road CEC and other senior officials who are involved in the procurement process. We have investigated. We have found facts. Let, us, let the DPP give his consent. And we believe our cases against many governors. They are watertight. That consent from the DPP comes exactly one year since EACC submitted its file for concurrence. The anti-graft body presented the file on Godana on the 4th of February 2021 to the DPP. The file was returned to sender a few days later on the 10th of March with instructions for further investigations. EACC then resubmitted the file on the 22nd of March 2021 for the DPP's action. The file has been sitting at the DPP's desk for one full year before action has been taken. Others in the EACC radar are Governors Anne Waiguru and Lamu Governor. Waiguru is wanted for the impress of 10.6 million shillings that she is alleged to have received for trips she never made or trips that were unofficial. A matter that has bogged her for years, which had her go through an impeachment motion in 2020 at both the Kirinyaga County Assembly and the Senate. She survived at the Senate, but the issue still hangs behind her. The Lamu governor has been under investigation since his second year in office. He is alleged to have been behind some irregular appointments, part of which brought in persons not qualified for their roles, while others were done and procedurally without the approval of the Lamu County Public Service Board. Samogina Citizen TV, Nairobi.